If you're going to attempt to address a national problem as complex as U.S. school shootings, you have to accept that there are certain inescapable truths and consider solutions from a truly fresh perspective. Uh, it's my final belief that if you never change your approach to a recurring problem, your ability to significantly change the outcome is lost. Uh, the moment that you become willing to study a problem from a new perspective, you open up uh, a world of new possibilities for meaningful solution. At Brent's USA, I believe that we've accomplished that. Finally, uh, concerned parents and school officials can protect their children and teachers from an active shooter with the most formidable ballistic defense available. The new Parentis USA door shield provides the highest level of ballistic defense protection available to schools today. It is incredibly powerful. It stops 100% of the weapons and ammunition used in U.S. school shootings to date. It accomplishes this while maintaining a remarkably functional and subtle daily classroom application as a dry erase board or a bullet board. It's without question one of the very best security solutions that we have ever designed. It's built for extreme levels of defense, but at the same time is a useful and familiar part of any classroom. Now, the Parentis USA Door Shield's core is composed of Underwriters Laboratory Level 8 material. Now, this ballistic defense fiberglass panel is capable of stopping handguns, shotguns, and assault weapons, including the AK-47 and 223 varieties. The extraordinary bullet defense capability is greater than any other school security product on the market today. At a measurement of 8 feet tall by 4 feet wide, the door shield more than covers any classroom entryway. Heavy duty steel rollers allow the door shield to glide along an overhead track to achieve coverage of the classroom door with little effort. The door shield can be deployed in under 5 seconds and provides immediate protection to the broadest demographic of students and teachers while awaiting the arrival of law enforcement. Handicapped students and staff who may not have the ability to enact ALICE or run hide and fight techniques effectively will have dramatically greater odds for survival. Your ability to convert each classroom to a safe room and then return to daily teaching is incredibly fast, allowing staff to return to lessons after intruder drills quickly and efficiently. A foot operated inhibitor mechanism rated to withstand 200 pounds of pressure allows the door shield to be released quickly for emergency use. When the crisis is averted, it serves to securely lock the door shield into its daily use position. Now, this mechanism is locked into place with a simple thumb turn dial by the classroom teacher on the interior of weapon use. The opposite side provides keyed entry from administrators and other emergency first responders. This allows teachers to remain with their children door shield is in place and provide leadership and comfort. There's no need for the teacher to perform a difficult evaluation of when to open the barrier. Emergency responders can access the room when the threat has been neutralized. Concerned parents and school officials have to accept that teachers and administrators are the first responders on the scene. They will be the ones charged with defending our children. The Parentis USA door shield allows them critical time necessary for law enforcement to arrive on the scene and make meaningful entry. It allows them precious seconds. Adam Lanz had killed 26 students and staff at Sandy Hook Elementary School in under four minutes. Cho, the Virginia Tech gunman, killed 32 others and himself in nine minutes. The national average for law enforcement entry in an active shooter situation is 10 to 15 minutes. That's according to the Department of Homeland Security, National Tactical Officers Association, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. The Parentis USA Door Shield allows staff to take immediate life-saving action in less than five seconds, converting their classroom into a safe room. So it comes down to the common question. Can we provide ballistic protection to our children and educators without compromising the school learning environment? And our answer is a resounding yes.